What's up everybody, it's Matt from TDM Style here. Welcome back to the channel once again. And uh, there seem to be a lot of rebrands going on lately, which is fine. Um, but this one is particularly weird. So as you saw from the title of the video, Anchor's hair company recently sold the company and is now called The Best Paste. Um, more on that name in a minute, but I wanted to preface this video quickly by saying this is, this is in no way meant to be like a dig at either the previous or current owner or anything like that. Um, so the previous owner, Ben, I've never spoken with him myself, but seems like a super nice guy, very humble person. So he has run um, Anchor's hair company for I think like the past 10 years and he is a veteran. So first of all, Ben, if you're watching, seriously, thank you for your service. Uh, and he, you know, he put it out there that he wanted to sell the company because he wants to spend more time with his son. And uh, also he had some, you know, injuries. So it was getting a little difficult to carry around all the five gallon drums making products and stuff. So 100% understandable. Uh, so he recently sold the company to Kristen, who is a celebrity hairstylist. And in terms of like selling the company and doing all that, um, Ben seems happy and I'm happy for him that he was able to find a person to take over the company who also seems like really excited about it and where it's going to go. Um, and Kristen, I really know very little about, but uh, she, you know, she's a celebrity hairstylist, so she should know what she's doing in terms of hair products and things. Um, but the direction that the rebrand went, I have some problems with it. So I, as a disclaimer, cause you know, legal reasons, insurance, whatever. This this video is just, it's just me having an opinion and, and you know, me giving constructive good faith criticism from a consumer customer point of view. So with that out of the way, let's actually dig into this rebrand and see what's happening. Cause I'm a little confused. So it used to be Anchor's hair company. This is a pretty well-known homebrew company that actually was on my radar for quite some time. You know, a lot of people said, hey, you gotta try Courage Clay, and I just, I hadn't gotten around to it. But yeah, their product line included, you know, several things. We had Courage Clay, we had the Teddy Boy lineup, which there was like a matte paste and a pomade, and uh, they had like an OB called Slick. And in terms of packaging and pricing, these were coming in in the four and a half ounce glass Pomade jars with, you know, obviously it's it's called Anchors, Anchors Away. They have this nautical theme with the branding and the labeling and everything. And generally, now the old website is still up and some of the prices are still there. So it seemed like most of the products were in the range of 18 to $22 for that four and a half ounce jar. So we can take an average and say around 20 bucks per. So now the company is called The Best Paste, uh, which includes the period in there, which I don't know, it just kind of looks a little weird. They have five styling products in the lineup. So, and I know Anchor has had some like shampoo and conditioner and I think skincare also. So that stuff is not there anymore. Maybe not yet. Like maybe it's coming back later and they're starting out with these five stylers or something. Although I don't, the best paste name wouldn't really work for a shampoo and conditioner, I suppose, because they're not paste. More on that later. But yeah, so as it stands right now, there are five products in the lineup uh, and this is where it starts to get weird for me. So the company is called The Best Paste because essentially the short version of the story is, you know, Kristen had bought some of these products in the past and used them on some of her clients and loved them. And she was like, this is the best hair paste I've ever used. I don't know which product it was. There were a lot of different products. So it seems like the the aim of the rebrand, their their whole thing is, it, it, well, actually it says it's right on a website, it says like, you know, men need, just want to know what, you know, shine level and hold strength is in their products. And so instead of calling things different names, like clays and pastes and pomades and gels and whatever, we're just, everything is a paste now. The names are just the shine level and the hold strength. So in terms of the five products, we have the Matte Firm, and it does actually say formally, um, which I think is a typo. I think that should say formerly Courage Clay, because formally makes it sound like 
it's called Courage Clay when it gets dressed up in nicer packaging. We have the Low Shine Medium Hold, which is formerly known as Teddy Boy Matte Paste. The Natural Shine Medium Hold, formerly, for, maybe I can't even freaking say it. Formerly Teddy Boy Original, which was a uh, unorthodox water-based pomade. Then we've got the Natural Shine Firm Hold, uh, which doesn't have a former name, uh, but the formula to me suggests that it's also a UWB pomade. Uh, and then we have the High Shine Light Hold one, which was formerly Slick, which is an oil-based pomade. Or, well, was an oil-based pomade, I guess. It's just a, it's a paste now. I don't know. So the packaging now uh, is three ounces instead of four and a half. Uh, they are black jars and black lids with this very minimal labeling that just, it's different colors for each one, but it just, you know, it says hold, uh, shine level and hold strength. Uh, it's hard for me to tell from these pictures. I don't know if the jars are still glass or if they're plastic now. They kind of look plastic, but I don't know for sure. And these are coming in at $28 each. Um, which is interesting. So we lost an ounce and a half of product but we gained $8 in price tag. They do also do the, they have the like subscription option now. So if you want to, you can subscribe and get your product, you know, once a month or once every three months or whatever. But weirdly that it's still 28 bucks every time. Like normally when you do the subscription thing, it like knocks, you know, like a dollar or two off. So you get a little bit of a discount. Doesn't seem to be happening here. They do have a loyalty and referral program though for discounts or it's it from what i saw it looked like you know if you refer somebody you can get like a five dollar off coupon um and the loyalty thing i don't know exactly how it works but i guess it's like every time you buy stuff you gain points and then presumably when you have enough points you can get a coupon or something so the formulas are they're still homebrew they're still small batch and now they says that the formulas have been enhanced i don't exactly know what that means um comparing them side by side since the old website was still up like i looked at the teddy boy matte paste and the and the what is it what is it called now low shine medium side by side the formulas are largely the same ingredients list but they've definitely moved things around which means that they've played with the amounts of certain ingredients and there, there were some things added so like the new formula has kaolin clay and ozocarite wax in it and they removed uh, vitamin e and eucalyptus oil for instance so the formulas seem to be mostly the same but they they were changed in various ways now it is worth mentioning i've never used the old products and i and i don't have the new ones i mean this literally the rebrand happened like two days ago, a day ago, I don't even know, very recently. Um, so I'm not gonna speak to what the actual like performance differences of the formulas might be because I don't know. <sighs> so that's the rebrand. Uh... I, so honestly, like I'm not, the, the packaging sucks now, to be honest with you. Like we went from this to this. So I, as far as I'm concerned, like, it's lost all its character. It looks just very uninspired now, especially if the jars are plastic now, as they, they were glass previously. And especially because we we lost an ounce and a half of product, but we gained $8 in price. Like, that's, that's a significant price increase and a significant amount of product decrease, which is like extra funny because on the homepage of the new website, one of the things is like, oh, bigger is better. Three ounce jars. They're 50% more than a lot of the other renowned brands out there. I, what other brands are you looking at? I mean, yeah, I guess if you're looking at like salon brands, around the same price point, like say Moroccan oil, for instance. Yeah, okay, if I spend 26 bucks on a jar of Moroccan oil clay, yeah, I think they're two and a half ounces. Actually, they might even be three now. So like, yeah, you might be a little bit more than that, but I, generally speaking, homebrew brands all have like four to four and a half ounce jars. I've never seen a homebrew product in like a two ounce or two and a half ounce jar, unless it's like a travel size or something. And they also have the bigger size. <laughs> and yeah, I just, everything like I'm all for minimal packaging. Like I love 
you know, black and white and just minimal text and shit. But we went from what was frankly awesome looking label designs and artwork and stuff to this. I mean, it's, it's just not... It doesn't look like anything. Well, actually, it does look like something. It, it looks like X or like something made by Procter and Gamble. Like it, it just looks. It doesn't look like a homebrew anymore, even though the formula inside still is. Also, the so there are already some reviews on the website, <sighs> um, and one of which particularly stuck out to me, which was this one. After using the best paste period TM, I got laid immediately. Okay, Blake. So like when I saw that, my first thought was, oh, well, that's obviously like a Jape review and they're just poking fun at like the rebrand being mediocre, but that, that can't be possible because the rebrand literally just happened like a day ago. So that means that these reviews that are on the site currently are PR reviews. In other words, these are people who, you know, got the new formulas ahead of the relaunch uh, and were probably asked to, hey, leave a review so that we have it up on the website come relaunch. But I, that's the one you're going to feature on the, on the fucking front page of the website? I use this hair product and I got my dick wet. Like that's, I don't, I don't, that's, who is your audience with that? That's like some like hormonal alpha M bros. I don't know. Like it, it just, to me, that sort of thing, just like being front and center just cheapens the whole experience. Cause really, I, like that's not, I don't look for that in a hair product. <laughs> you know what I mean? Talk with my hands now. My Italian blood's coming out. So, and also, I... So, listen, I, I, I get the... I just said so a lot. Um, probably the wine. But I, you know, I, I understand rebrands. It's a new owner. She has every right to, you know, want to put her mark on things. And, you know, this is her company now, so she wants new packaging and new this and that. But calling every product a paste... I, as far as I'm concerned, is a bad idea. Cause that they're not, they're not all pastes. And I actually, so like, if you look at the FAQ, uh, if you look at the product section, one of the questions is, why did you name this the best paste period TM? And all right, so the response is this. Well, first of all, because it is the best, we have no doubt that it is the best styling product on the market. Well, which one? You have five, you have five products. We refer to the product line as paste because we want to shake the ambiguity the industry has created in its labeling of products. Uh, we strive to eliminate the uncertainty of the meaning of clay, gel, mud, pomade, wax, paste, and more. What the customer wants to know is simple. What's the shine level and what's the hold? I, so I get part of that because if you're new to hairstyling and you're new to buying hair products, yeah, it can certainly be overwhelming. There's a lot of shit out there. And while I agree with like, yeah, people want to know, you know, if, if they're not like a hair nerd or if they're not interested in learning about what product means what, like, yeah, just tell me what the shine level and the hold level is. Sure, but shake the ambiguity by calling everything a paste. That, doesn't make any sense. That's the opposite. That that is ambiguity. You're you're saying paste, 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 paste. When like one is a pomade, one is an oil-based pomade, one has clay in it, one does. You know what I mean? Like I I think that having all these different formulas that are made for specific different looks and different hairstyles, <laughs> just deciding to say well everything's a fucking paste now. To me, it's it's just reductive and it's not. You're adding ambiguity, not removing it, which also plays into this thing. So when you like first visit the website, you get a pop-up or whatever, and it's, it's all over the website that like, oh, you can contact Kristen, this super cool celebrity hairstylist who's worked on Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman and whatever, which by the way is hilarious that they put those two names after one another. But anyway, it's like, oh yeah, you can contact Kristen for, you know, special styling advice and whatever, and she'll get back to you and it's awesome, which is great. But that's like, I feel like that was a missed opportunity. Like you could have used that, you, you could have kept 
the product lineup what it was called. So like, here's your pomade, here's your clay, here's your matte paste, here's your whatever. And you could have used the ask the stylist slash owner platform to have a, a, a very easy and accessible way to explain to potential customers if they ask you like, hey, what's the difference between a pomade and a clay? Instead of just saying like, well, they're all pastes. They're not. And yeah, let's be real. I'm not a professional stylist. I'm just a hair enthusiast. For me, it's not particularly strange to, to know that there are different products with different names that are meant for different results. It seems real weird as an idea for a, an actual hairstylist to take that and say like, nah, they're all the same. They just have different hold levels and stuff and they all work for all hair types. I just don't think that that's accurate. I don't know. So, you know, being a person who knows a bit about hair products, I feel like the word paste in hair product realm is already overused in a way, because, you know, like the kind of high street brand, like American Crew and Old Spice and Axe and all them, they, they put the word paste on shit. They're like, yeah, this is our fiber paste. This is our wax paste. This is our whatever. And for them, all the product formulas are pretty similar. I mean, especially, we, we know how I feel about head and shoulders. <laughs> but you know, so in that case, yeah, maybe everything's a paste because their product formulas are so similar and they change one little thing. These product formulas are not similar. They're all very different and very specific things. And you know, in terms of the customer response, uh, like on the Instagram page, it honestly seems 50-50. Like half of them are just like, emojis, congrats, hooray. And the other 50% are people who are like, listen, I've been a customer for the past five or seven or 10 years and I don't like this anymore. Why did you change the formulas? Why did you change the names? But they're also inheriting like the social media following that Anchor's already had. And those are the folks who seem to be upset by this. So as in my opinion, that's you're, you're inheriting the clout, but you're alienating the customer base. And I, you know, maybe, maybe she wants to just develop a completely new customer base. Maybe she wants to make this seem like a much more generically accessible brand of stuff that you'll just see on a shelf in a salon somewhere. A client will say, oh, what'd you use on me? And they'll just be like, yeah, it's the best paste. But there's five of them, but they're all pastes. And the, on that notion of the customer response, I have, I've been scrolling through the comments and stuff and I've noticed like Ben has replied to a couple and he was like, listen, I, I'm sorry you're upset, but I'm really happy about this. Chris, the, the brand is in good hands. Like Kristen's a great person. She's really excited. So I hope that you, whatever. But it's also worth noting to me that a lot of the negative comments or people saying, hey, I was a customer. I don't like this. I'm out. Have not had a response from the official best paced Instagram. And now that could simply be down to the fact that this relaunch just happened. Maybe whoever's running the Instagram, maybe it's just Kristen, she's doing everything herself, I don't know. You know, maybe she doesn't have somebody running that, so maybe just hasn't had time to get back to those people. Um, but I checked again before recording this video tonight and I still haven't seen any responses. So that just, you know, I, it's weird that you're not replying to this, we'll call it backlash in a way. Um, and, and, you know, making an attempt to make people feel at ease and say, well, this is why I did it, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I, I think part of that is just the fact that the homebrew market has a particularly passionate and loyal customer slash fan base. You know, people who get into homebrew products are into them because they like hair products. They like the variety. They like the uniqueness that all these homebrew brands bring. They like the unique packaging, the unique formulas. And now you've taken this brand that had that and you've stripped it all away and just made it into this very generic looking thing. This is just, you know, I've, I've witnessed several rebrands um, and I've never seen one quite as, I guess, dramatic a change. Um, as this one is. So, and at the end of the day, I wish everybody well. I, I don't, you know, I hope that the brand works out and everything, but I just, I hope that uh, they can take this constructive criticism and maybe tweak things, tweak the naming, tweak things a little bit so that they can keep the existing previous customer base happy while also attracting 
you know, the new folks. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me here. I hope that you uh, found this video informational. Please do stay tuned. I've got lots more coming up, so feel free to hit the subscribe button down below to keep up to date with everything. And as always, thank you so much for coming by and watching, and we'll see you at the next one. Yeah.